Hello guys, welcome back to 1870 Blues. Um, I <laughs> just before I get into this match reaction, if you can like, comment, subscribe, subscribe because it's gonna make me feel a lot better after a fucking calamity at the end of the game. I <sighs> I've just went for a Boxing Day meal with my family. Obviously, well, no, obviously you don't know when I went, but I went to watch the game. I, I went home from work, watched the second half, seen the highlights in the first half. Abs, don't even get me started on them fucking chances we missed. And I um, seen the second half, and you know what? I really, really wished I was in work a lot longer. I really wished I decided, to, you know what? Fuck Everton. I've had a good break in the World Cup. Fuck Everton. Let's just stay in work. And then I'll leave about 15, 20 minutes before the game ends. Drive home. Get like a little quick wash. And then go to to the meal. And if I don't look at the highlights, if I don't see any of the goals, yes, I will find out that we've lost right at the fucking end. It won't hurt as much because I haven't seen it. It'll fucking piss me off. But I won't watch it because I don't want it to ruin. I don't want it to ruin my Boxing Day meal. Um, Christmas has been shit. I don't even get into it, but it's been shit. And I just thought... <sighs> I don't want Everton to make it worse. Can you just make one festive period of my life with Everton? Fucking good. Please just don't ruin anything. But it's been shit as it is anyway. And they've made it a lot fucking worse um to get beat in the end like that doing uh, wolves did to me when i watched the second half did absolute fuck off they just sat back played for the draw which i don't blame them because the 20th um i mean even their fucking their new manager put center backs on and fucking defensive defensive minded players to 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 hold on not really hold on because they did, did absolute Fuck all going forward. We looked like we was we hated each other. I mean, we was whacking the balls at each other. Uh, sorry, that cut. we was whacking the football at each other like we didn't like each other. Like we was pissed off with, with one another. It was we had no idea what we was doing. We was just hoping for any drop ball, hoping for any mistake from walls, just put a bit of pressure on them because there's no fucking class in the squad whatsoever. It is. My dad was ripping into Awobi. Awobi's been our best player by a fucking mile in terms of attack and play. He's the only one who's got a fucking brain, but today he was shite. And I'm going to call that out when I call it out, you know what I mean? If I can praise him, I'll praise him. But I, when he's shit, he's shit. And he was shite today. But there's other players there who I've ranted about most of the season who have, again, showed why they're fucking dross. And I, we shouldn't be giving new contracts. And I've just gave it away there to certain players who we shouldn't be giving new contracts to. Just an absolute... This side, by the way, we're playing Wolves are 20th in the league for a reason. Now, they're not, they shouldn't be with the players they've got. Yes, they've got a new manager. I get it. Bounce. But they didn't have a bounce today. They didn't have a bounce. And they all go, oh, we had this character. We fight it to the end. He didn't fight to the end. He just fucking... We fucked up because the crowd pressured us to go and get a win. And in my head, I was going, I mean, look who we've got up front. No disrespect to Tom Cannon. He's never really fucking played a Premier League game for Everton. If he has, it's been a few minutes or whatever. Yeah, if you're expecting some sort of miracle win in here, yes, it can happen in football, but come on. Come on, really? Like, look at a game we've got next, Man City. Why would you want to take a risk in, the, in the, literally the, the last minute of the game to go forward and put a stupid pass? Yes, I wasn't happy with the, the pass back, pass back in defence. It was like, fuck me. At least try and, like, do something. At least, you know what I mean? Not, not like, whack a ball up front with a bit of hope when our players can't fucking win a header and risk losing it, and then put, like, where the hell was our defence, like, why are we pushing so many bodies forward, just get a few bodies in the box, that's all you need, and that's it, but don't throw everyone at it, and, 
we just had no one at the back and it was four and three, I think. And even then, in the back of my mind, I was like, it'd be only us now to just go and throw it all away. You know, you would, when you think about it, don't lose a game in that magnitude. I know it's only halfway, not even halfway through the season. It's still a massive game. We are going to be at the bottom of the table. You know what I mean? No matter what this season, we're going to be fighting to stay up no matter what. But it's such a massive game to not just just stop the rot. Stop. Fucking winds me up. It's like, just stop the rot. You know, this is what happened last season. Around this time, obviously, we've had the World Cup. We had a period where we just couldn't stop losing. It was We lost about seven or eight in the bounce. I can't even remember what it was. It was awful. It was the worst worst period of football in my life i've ever seen and we're starting again and all we had to do was just keep the ball and just listen the car puts it on i was getting a bit frustrated oh, get this fucking... i i was getting frustrated all right i was getting frustrated i didn't like the pass backs at the center backs and i was going fuck me at least just do something at least try and drive with the ball or whatnot um and it shows how pathetic we are because all the players are standing there. So why are we trying to lob the ball up when the players around Tarkovsky, whoever lobbed it, I think it was Tarkovsky, wasn't moving. He was just standing there. They, they had no fucking clue what he was doing. So lobbing the ball up, a bit of hope, a hopeful ball, and hopefully a hopeful drop ball to 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 one of the to one of our players. It's, it, it was such a thing which is not worth risking. Um, we just we had no chance to score a winner there, and we go and do it, and then we lose the ball, and then the, the goal was just a joke, like absolute joke. Al Traore's, and then somehow was hit Michelangelo, it's fell to this Al Nori or whatever his name is, and he's free in the middle. Is it? I Godfrey's been out for a while, but oh my god, really? It's part of his name, Godfrey. Like, really. I just, I've never punched a bed so much in my life. I, I was numb when the goal went in. And I was like, oh, I just, I, I was just like, I was so numb. I was like, I just actually, like you say, you can't believe Everton's done it. And I keep saying I can't believe they've done it, but it's Everton. Like when the next day I'll wake up and I go, it's Everton though, isn't it? It is Everton. But you still can't believe this side, this club does this to you so many times. Like how many Wake up calls do you need? Uh, like, this is why we don't listen to this shite throughout the week of what we're going to do with this game. The players are motivated. The trainings went really well. I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit. To start doing it in the game, you have, I've never seen an attacking lineup who can't beat a man due to pure technical ability. It's all through a mistake from the other players, like the opposition players. It's all to do with just a bit of a hopeful run and sometimes their players are a bit lacking concentration there's no quality anyway it's like dire as well it's it's dire and it's a lot of these reactions i've done in the past and go god mate you're a bit overreactive there but like in the moment i'm still in the moment it hurts man like it's it's woody like even the commentators are saying like you can feel the nerves like i can because I know how crap this squad is, and I blame Lampard for part as well. Lampard should have just said, just take the points and just don't do anything stupid. Just pass the ball around. Fuck what the crowd is saying at the moment. Because, yes, they're worried, you know, we, we want to be going against 20th, you know, position side, Wolves at home. We should be wanting to win. But we have no right because we are as shit as them but to be honest they've got a better squad than us in a, in my opinion they have a much better better squad than us um i mean dad's saying though if connor cody was in today knows how they play it doesn't mean shit that it doesn't mean shit it doesn't mean shit like connor cody's played in the last three games got beaten in it doesn't mean shit we 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 off fucked if we don't do anything in january but then you look at the, the manager now and you're like wait you're obviously getting beat by city next week my mate just said, one of my mates said, they're not invincible. I'm like, listen, at this rate, we couldn't even beat our reserve side or our under-18s or our under-16s. We are that crap. So we have absolutely, there's no point saying up in Man City. Save our fitness, surrender, and just get that 3-0. 
loss or whatever the automatic loss is because we're not going to do anything in this game and it's a waste of time watching it yes you should you support your club but it is literally a waste of time because you've got to think about your mental health you've got to think about your mental health man because I've just gone to that boxing day meal and I've just had the worst meal of my life and the worst time of my life and I'm with my family and I should be having a good time. I've never had Everton affect me this much because I just feel it's such a massive game and I don't want to look back at the end of the season if we get relegated and lose by one point and we've just gone and lost it in, in this type of game for nothing. Like, we really could have avoided that defeat. It feels so much worse. The draw would have been crap. And listen... Throughout the game, what we you know the second half I watched, we was abysmal, absolutely abysmal. Apparently, had, according to people, we, we, had, we had control of the game. We didn't. Wolves sat back because they know the shit going forward. They're just good at counter attacking teams, and well, they're not good, but they're all right. And you know, it's just they was there to, to get a point and just you know start off good with the, the new manager. And, he was, and we just basically threw it away, just gave it to them. We, we basically just did that because we did nothing going forward than that. We had that little chance with Tom Cannon. Very unlucky, you know, good defending by Totty, which is unusual to say for a defender, um, a name like that. But, you know, Wolves committed a few fouls, got a few yellow cards. That was literally it in the second half. There was nothing. I heard the first half was great on the radio, driving home. You know, fantastic game, full of mistakes everywhere. And look, we made another mistake. And it's a crucial mistake, and it's just a load of, uh, just a load of, uh, also draw some watching. I I just can't I can't believe this is the Everton side. When you told me five six years ago, again taking over, loads of money coming in. Yes yes yes. I was rubbing my hands, rubbing my hands. I was like, this is it now. This is the change. This is what we needed all along, and we've got a hunt, like we've gone. I've never seen us this bad. Like, the whole squad is just awful. <laughs> awful. Awful. Uh, the Yeri Mean is goal. Great header. Again, goes off. I mean, I might as well just put a bet on every game that he's going to go off as a sub. I'm, I've never seen a man who's about 28, 29 look up, you know, have the same physical attributes as a 60 year old I, it's unbelievable this player has, a, has the best nutrition, has the best of everything yet he can't play 90 minutes of football, I can play 90 minutes of football in that, in that pitch over there by man, at the big field by man, on a very humpy lumpy field, I can have more fitness than him it's a better fitness than him, it's ridiculous um, but he scores 1 0. Yada yada. My dad said he played well today. I mean, he didn't really have what, what I seen in the second half. He didn't really have much to do anyway. Um, and yeah, he scores. And then Pedent scores. Great little flick, I think, from John Matinho. Completely caught us off guard from the corner. Um, and then Pedent is there just to, you know, just to slide it home on the half volley and then yeah obviously they go at the end and there's really nothing much more to it what I've just seen Gordon at the first half I've seen one of his chances apparently had a few but his chance where he should have just buried it in the, in the on the side of the goal where he was directing himself towards because he would have just put power on it and Josie Saar would have been nowhere near it because he had full control of that ball and he goes and goes to the other side where I don't understand if he's trying to trick Josie Saar at all but to me, if if you're that close to goal and you've got that, you know, you've got quite a bit of that side of the goal to aim at, just smash it. You go, it's going in. If you save that, like, man, literally will never get beaten again in goal. You had the, oh, just, and no pay, just dreadful, dreadful finisher. I don't, I don't understand, man. I don't think he's that bad of a striker, what I've seen from him in the past. Yeah, his goal scoring record isn't great, but he hasn't played. Brighton's a good side, but he's just, he just doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of chances a game, you know what I mean? But I just thought he'd be at least a bit more clinical, and he's, he's still fucking shite. And, yeah. Um, I'm just, I was, I'm just so deflated with this squad. I'm so deflated. 
This is going to be five losses in all competitions in a row. Four in a row in the league when we face Man City. And then we've got the, like, I think we've got, like, West Ham at home or something, or Brighton at home. I, no, no game in the Premier League is easy, but we are, to me, we are literally the worst side in the Premier League. I just... I, I, and we could be in the bottom three by tomorrow. Well, and Oscar and Forrest are playing against Man United away, but you never know what can, what can happen. Man United pull up some shocking results out of nowhere when they're playing, you know, decently well, uh, playing quite well. But regardless, if we're still 17th, it still doesn't matter to me. We are horrendous. And it's a, we don't want the teams above us starting to pull away. Um, and to me, it's going to happen because I can't see anything in this squad that is giving me any sort of hope of anything. You know, January transfer windows there, but Mohamed Kudas and Brennan Diaz and whatnot are not going to want to go to us, especially Mohamed Kudas. We had the chance to get him, and obviously Ajax really pulled the strings to keep him. But I can't see anything. I can't see anything with the squad. Like, it's that bad. It is that bad. Onana today lacks a day's old man like me. You've been in the Premier League now for a few months. You should know it's quite fast paced. If you're just not that type of player, then you should be playing for a should be playing for a team like Man City. You've got all the time in the world on the ball. And likes and the likes of that. With us, we need players to be just on it all the time and just be like aggressive and pacey and have something about them. Like Onana, there's just too much raving about him. Like Mate, he's, he's not doing enough to me on the pitch than anyone else. So, him, he was dross. Uh, Roby was dross. Gordon's just always dross to me. I, I re Last season, I praised him a lot because he was one of the few in the team who really put his foot in and just pressured and just put a lot of pressure on and just fighting for every ball. That's what I liked about him. But to me, he's never really had quality, that, that, that much quality, let, let's be honest. We see most of his goals, apart from the goals against Brentford, the Leeds, good finishes, one-on-one. One on one. Apart from them, I can't really recall too many goals. He's going, and I'm like, ah, really good, decent by Gordon. The most really being deflected, like two, two yards out, tappings, nothing spectacular. And we should have got rid of him when we had... The, the offers coming in, but it is what it is. I'm apparently signing, wanting to sign a new contract. Defensively, we wasn't too bad apart from the end, um, but they had not nothing much to do. Diego Costa looked like he could play in the MLS now. Like he, the, the, the the man's lost it. Um, I just <laughs> the wingers. I don't want to go on about them again because we just know what they are. Jonas, centre mid, it's just a gone guy to me. Play quite well. Um, but yeah, could have been a red card with a high chat, you know, high foot challenge. I don't really think it just a gone again was putting his head in. That's when you get away with the red card. I mean, other games I've seen worse for the red card, and that could have changed it. But then it wouldn't because a team with ten men then would just sit back even more, and we can't even break down a Jenga tower. Never mind any defence in this league when you sit back. So. I needed this rant. I just told my parents they're in the house, and I just said, "Listen, we've just come back from this meal. I'm fuming. I'm gonna swear my head off. I don't swear in front of my family members. It's just a thing I do. I just don't do." And I just said, "I'm getting in the car. I'm gonna fucking swear my head off. I'm just gonna rant. And I need it because it helps." And I didn't have the opportunity to do it before, so it's a bit of a late reaction. But um, yeah, which were well and truly done to me and I don't want to say it too early I said this all last season but we always had that little bit of hope of Richardson pulling a goal out of nowhere Richardson was awful last season for large periods but he always had the potential to just pull things out and he always you know you felt like two players Richardson running 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 closing down you just always had a chance of him um, and we haven't got that now and we've got a, a Dominic Cavalier is going to probably play about eight Premier League games this season because the guy is just never fit. He's never fit. And when he does get injured, it takes ages to recover through little small injuries. It's just, you can't rely on him. And that's our mistake this summer. We just relied on him and panicked by it. Getting low pay again. If we just, whoever we bring in, this, this club's just going to curse. You can bring all the staff in from Newcastle and 
we'll be we'll be even worse or we'll be exactly the same now. It's just this I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is and I can't really put my finger on who to blame anymore because changing a manager isn't gonna do anything. Me, it's not, because they just these players are shite. Like they are shite. We're trying to build it up slowly, but it's dangerously slow because we're really dropping down a table and today we could have stopped stopped the rot, but we didn't. And we've made it a lot worse for ourselves now. Um, especially losing at the end of fucking hurts, man. But yeah. Before, yeah, I'm just going to stop because I could go on for about an hour because I really needed to just rant. Um, so anyway, technically Christmas hasn't been ruined because we played after Christmas Day, but it's still in a festive period. We're still shite and they just disappoint me every time and I miss the World Cup already. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you Probably for a match preview for the Man City game. Don't really want to do it. Don't really want to do a match reaction, but I'm going to do what I have to do. Um, and hopefully I might do another little mini video maybe uh, before then of something else, but I don't know. I'm going to sort my audio and camera out as well, so that's my objectives. But anyway, I'm off. Um, thank you for listening. Um, nearly 21 minutes. I've wanted more than enough. Anyway, see you later.